Today we're going to do this painting, a cliff on a lake. What I love about this scene is this high contrast between the cliffs and those shadows behind it. So we're going to be looking at trying to just see shapes and values and colors and edges. So instead of seeing cliffs and water and trees, just as I, as I paint this today, I'm just focusing on the shapes I see the values I see, the colors I see, and the edges that I see. I'm really glad you joined us. We're gonna have fun. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna start this painting by drawing this out. My standard color I use to draw things out on is uh, transparent red iron oxide, or sometimes I'll use uh, yellow ochre, which I've just recently added in, to my palette. Umber. Light colors, when, in, when they're reflected in water, tend to go just a little bit darker. And dark colors reflected in water tend to go a little bit lighter. So the light blue sky you'll see is just a little bit darker in the water. If you're looking at that photograph in the top left, um, that sky blue color is just a little bit darker than the actual sky blue in the sky. Okay, so I'm using this mix, blending with the colors that are already there, which is kind of nice because they kind of blend that way in the photograph. You know, you'll see those colors are kind of beginning to blend. And it's really the, the sharp, kind of bright ivory color of the rocks mixing with the green above it and even mixing with some flecks of sky. So you'll see all three of those colors coming through in this patch of water. So now I am pulling out my palette knife. I'm pulling out some heavy body acrylic. Now the rest of this paint is golden open. This particular patch of white I've pulled onto the palette is actually not golden open, it's golden heavy body. This is something you can get what they call impasto with or thickness of paint. So you actually get a physical texture on the paint. I'm going to paint this close cliff with this color here, partly because I want to ramp up the drama of the light hitting this cliff, and partly because the texture that I put down is going to mimic the texture of that rock. So the top of this cliff is just a little bit more, a little barely darker value. It's got a little more of a bluish gray tint to it. I really like doing impasto stuff. It's just fun. It's fun to get texture in there. It's just fun to use a different tool other than brushes. I heard a quote from John Singer Sargent who said, it's good to use a brush bigger than you need. Because like right now, even painting those cracks in with the number four brush I'm using, something that's fairly wide, forces you to just be creative in the way you use your brush. And plus you, you'll end up with a few more brush strokes showing if you're using bigger brushes. Now I'm starting to get these uh, dark colors in, in the hillside of trees. And again, I'm just trying to see shapes and values and colors and edges. I'm trying to divorce myself from the idea that I'm trying to paint trees. I'm really just painting these shapes that I see in the hillside. Shift into sky mode. Got a little bit of teal in it. It's got a little bit of the thalo blue in it. Quite a bit of white. New painters tend to do skies too dark as a rule. They fairly light. So if on a value scale of one to nine, where you know you have one through three are your light values, four through six are your middle, seven through nine are your dark values, sky values tend to be in the one to two range, three range occasionally. They're usually the lightest thing in a painting. Oh. I'm trying to get that bright blue to kind of be the wraparound uh, right edge of that primary bluff face. I'm trying to define the kind of the top part of this. Great Salvador point. Dali has a really good quote. He says, uh, imitate others. You know, he says, if you don't, if you're not imitating others, you're, you're not producing anything. I had a design studio for years and we would joke about creativity. And we'd say creativity is just forgetting where you saw it. All right. Just kind of putting the finishing touches on this. I think this thing's about wrapped up. Yeah. We had fun today. Really glad you joined us. Hope you painted along. This came together kind of quick, so if it didn't work that quickly for you and you had to pause the video, that's totally okay. That's legal. We were looking today in this painting uh, of these cliffs along the lake, we were looking at trying to just see shapes and values and colors and edges. So if we can learn that one principle and stop seeing water and trees and barns and hills and just see those shapes and the values and the colors and the edges, we are well on our way to doing better paintings. Thanks so much.